Hi, I'm Joe Dante. We're going to look at the trailer for the last of Roger Corman's Edgar Allan Poe adaptations for American International Pictures in the early 60s. This one is Tomb of Lygia. Uh, it was shot in England. I saw it at the Palace Theater in Philadelphia uh, in 1965, early 1965, on a double bill with a picture called Moral Witch Doctor, about which I have no memory whatsoever. But uh, this was a pretty darn good movie, I thought, and um, AIP continued to make Poe pictures after Corman left for more contemporary pastures, but uh, they just didn't quite have the same elan. Vincent Price had a part intended for Richard Chamberlain? No, not the music lovers of the last wave. It was the role of Verdon Fell, the light-sensitive aristocrat mourning the death of his undead wife in Tomb of Lygia last of Corman's Poe movies and the second to be shot in England. Future Chinatown writer Robert Town, who had started his career writing Last Woman on Earth for Roger, as well as acting in both that and The Creature from the Haunted Sea under the name Edward Wayne, wrote his pseudo-Jane Austen screenplay intending to veer away from the middle-aged gothic protagonists of the previous entries in favor of a younger, more contemporary demographic, for which the popular TV star Chamberlain would have been ideal. But AIP heads Nicholson and Arkoff could see no reason not to stick with the tried and true, so Vincent Price was reinstalled in the romantic lead despite being a decade or two older than the character as written. Nonetheless, Lygia stands out as a most impressive swan song to Corman's Poe series, determinedly abandoning the studio-bound Freudian hallways and foggy graveyard interiors for the bracing realism of the English countryside. Seeing you and, and seeing her. Yet when you thought I was Lygia, you tried to attack me. You must trust me. Give over your will to mine. No harm will come to you. Give over your will to mine. Elizabeth Shepard nails what must be the best realized female character in the Poe series, drawn to the enigmatic price enough to marry him, but appalled by his dark secrets, including a shrine to his dead wife, also played by Shepard. She had the distinction of being the first actress to play Emma Peel in The Avengers. But after two episodes shot right after Lygia, uh, she was determined not to be what the producers were looking for, and the role was reshot with Diana Rigg, who went on to become one of the icons of the 1960s. This is one of the most elegant of the Poe series, with gliding camera work by Hammer veteran Arthur Grant, some terrific second unit by Francis Coppola, and fabulous location work at Castle Acre Priory in Norfolk, which dates back to 1089. It all ends in the expected conflagration. Boy, those stone castles really can burn. But along the way, there's some subtlety and a lot of atmosphere. Looking back, it's hard to believe young audiences were drawn to period pictures with characters in waistcoats and bustles, but it was a different era, wasn't it? I love all the Poe pictures, but this really is one of the best. 